What's up guys welcome back to yet another review video and in this video we'll be reviewing Oxygen OS 12 Open Beta 1 which got recently released for OnePlus 8 series and OnePlus 9R. I've been using this build since the day it was released and in this video you guys will get to know everything about what all bugs present on this build along with battery backup, performance part and camera segment. So without wasting any more time let's get started. So as you can see here, this is my OnePlus 8 which is currently running on the latest build of Oxygen OS 12 which is Oxygen OS 12 Open Beta 1. And before even starting the video, let me tell you guys, on this build there are no major bugs to be seen. Few minor bugs can be found here and there but that doesn't restrict you to use it as a daily driver. But for those who are facing major issues, for once, make sure to perform a factor reset from recovery. I'll mention the guide of performing factor reset from recovery in the description below. And as always, we created a poll asking you guys about what all issues you have been facing on Open Beta 1. So we got almost 2.2k votes with 100 plus comments. And a big shout out to Alan for highlighting some minor bugs and they were very well presented by him. So thanks Alan for contributing for this video. And we have already made a video on all the features what we got with Oxygen OS 12 Open Beta 1. For once make sure to check that video out. And guys also let's keep a like target of 400 likes on this video. And still we have 80% of users who haven't subscribed to our channel. So it's a humble request do consider subscribing and also press the bell icon to get notified whenever we upload a new video. So as I said there are some minor issues or you can say glitches on Oxygen OS 12. But those are not major ones and can be easily ignored in the daily usage and those issues can be fixed over time with the regular OTA updates and one of the issue is related to brightness so most of the times if you are using auto brightness when brightness decreases or increases it doesn't give you that smooth effect sometimes from low brightness to high brightness it moves immediately that time we don't get to see this smooth animation of decreasing or increasing brightness and that's not only with me few users also reported the same issue that doesn't happen all the time but once or twice a day even i get to see that issue and guys do not skip anything in this video or else you will miss out on the bugs which i'll be mentioning here so that you guys can decide whether you want to update your device to oxygen os 12 open beta 1 or not after that second bug watch i noticed is layered to gmail application so here with the gmail application i personally don't receive any kind of emails or you can say i don't get notified so as you can see here, soon I opened the Gmail application, I got all the mails popping up inside the application and that did not appear in the status bar or notification panel. Notification issue have been there on Oxygen OS since a long time and I seriously don't understand when are they going to fix such small issues. On my OnePlus 8, I have noticed this notification issues with applications like Gmail, MI Home, but most of the applications do provide the notification if there is any notification present. And I also saw few users complaining about this screen refresh rate on latest build of Oxygen OS 12. Wherein people were saying that screen refresh rate doesn't stick to 90 FPS. So guys this was not the case on Oxygen OS 11 also as you can see here towards the right hand side I have my OnePlus 7 Pro which is running on Oxygen OS 11. And towards the left hand side we have our OnePlus 8 which is running on Oxygen OS 12. As you can see here if you use your device the screen refresh rate switches to 90 fps and soon you leave your device idle the refresh rate moves to 60 and guys this is how it meant to be to save some battery life on your devices if you want regular 90 fps in all the applications then anytime you can use adb method to force 90 fps but i won't recommend you guys because that will drain more battery and users of OnePlus 9R have already been complaining about they're not able to use 5G Volti services and Wi-Fi calling. So guys, if that's the case, then I would recommend you guys to downgrade your device if you're not able to use these services. And on this latest build, we do have some issues with the gallery app too, wherein you'll see slight jitters while scrolling the wallpapers or the photos in the gallery app. As you can see here, the animation in the gallery isn't that good. So again, a minor issue. And I've also seen few comments in which users says that with always on display, double tap to wake doesn't work. So as you can see here, always on display is turned on. If I double tap on the screen, device do wake up. And if I double tap on the empty space on the home screen, device do goes to sleep. And guys, if you are not able to find these settings, then just head to settings page, search for double tap to wake. And here under screen of gestures, you'll find this option called double tap to wake or 
turn off screen make sure you enable this and after that if you're always on display is turned on you'll be easily able to wake up your device and tap on the empty space on the home screen to turn off the screen as said earlier we do have some issues related to the notifications on oxygen os 12 where you can see this is the screenshot which i had taken and i'm not sure this issue is only related to particular applications but i have seen this with most of the applications for example messaging application so here i sent a single message from telegram and where you can see the same message is repeated twice but oneplus have already mentioned these issues like you might face issues with the third party applications and another bug which i would like to mention is related to the bluetooth icon in the status bar so towards the right hand side you can see this is my oneplus 9 which is also running on oxygen os 12 and even if the bluetooth is not connected the bluetooth icon doesn't disappear from the notification or the status bar and that's the case with oxygen os 12 i'm not sure this is how it is meant to be you can see bluetooth isn't connected but still bluetooth icon appears in the status bar but if you take a look on oxygen os 12 here also bluetooth icon is turned on or bluetooth is enabled but not connected and here we don't get to see the bluetooth icon in the status bar so i'm not sure whether this is an issue or this is how it meant to be on oxygen os 12 but in future i'm sure with the feedback of users these small things will be sorted out and when it comes to bluetooth there are few users who aren't aware about one of the settings which i'll show you right now there is a setting on oxygen os 12 guys which reduces the audio output of your bluetooth device but initially it was also difficult for me to find that specific setting but if your device like for example bluetooth is not giving you the max output then you can just go to the bluetooth setting tap on these three dots and go to advanced settings from here you make sure you have enabled media volume sync if this is disabled then you won't get the max output on your bluetooth devices even if the volume is kept at higher level so if that's the case just make sure to enable this feature and few users haven't got the theme store on oxygen os 12 after performing a local upgrade so guys if that's the case on your phone then i'll leave the apk of latest theme store you can sideload that apk manually and you'll have theme store on your device i've also noticed sometimes dnd mode isn't fully functional most of the times i do get notified even if my dnd mode is activated and there's another missing feature on oxygen os 12 now we don't get the estimated charging time on the lock screen which used to appear on oxygen os 11 but that's not the case on oxygen os 12 now hopefully things will be added slowly with the upcoming updates and few users have also been complaining about the slow charging speed guys i personally felt a bit of slow charging but i won't say it's too slow hardly there would be difference of 10 to 15 minutes if compared to oxygen os 11 but still i'll keep you guys updated on our instagram handle about the charging speed I do need to test the charging speed with Oxygen OS 11. First, I'll downgrade my device to Oxygen OS 11 and then I'll compare it with Oxygen OS 12. So make sure to follow me on Instagram. Another missing feature is Pocket Mode. So Pocket Mode isn't present on Oxygen OS 12. I also do see few comments related to App Lock feature or Hidden Space. So guys, now Hidden Space have been upgraded. This feature can be found in the Privacy Settings. And yes, you can also set different passwords for Private Safe and App Lock. So let me show you. By default, I have set 1234 as my default pin. But if I tap on Private Safe, it says Set up Privacy Password first. So Privacy Password is different. You can set that. And the same thing goes with Hide Apps. You don't have to use this similar password which you have set for the lock screen or device lock. So guys, these are some of the minor issues which I I personally noticed and i went through all your comments which you guys have mentioned now let's talk about the battery backup since oxygen os 12 have released battery backup is really great i've seen maximum users appreciate the battery backup and the performance part of oxygen os 12 so here we have the screen on time which i am getting on my oneplus 8 running oxygen os 12 open beta 1 on day 1 i got 4 hours and 3 minutes of screen on time with my regular usage not any kind of gaming on day 2 screen on time was increased wherein i got 5 hours and 10 minutes of screen on time and overnight battery drain was pretty low i just noticed 4 percent of battery drain and all these battery drain overnight and the battery backup everything is with always on display turned on so i really appreciate the battery backup on oxygen 
Lenovo S12. And if you guys use high performance mode, you might see bit of extra battery drain. So moving on to the camera part, trust me guys, you won't find any improvements in the camera over Oxygen OS 11. Same picture quality, no improvements can be seen with color shifting in different lenses in all three different modes. Still I notice a lot of color difference while switching the lenses. So that thing, I think OnePlus should optimize a bit. Light difference can be managed, but there's a huge difference while switching between the lenses. Front portrait does a decent job, sometimes still overexposes the photos. And macro mode also does a good job, but you won't see any kind of major improvements or differences between macro mode on Oxygen OS 11 with that of Oxygen OS 12. Nightscape photos are good enough, picture click in the night mode are brighter, but the sharpness of pictures is completely destroyed. Hope in future, these small things get fixed and with more OTA updates, we get to see improvements in the camera segment. So for me, I personally did not notice any kind of improvements in the camera after updating to Oxygen OS 12. But you guys let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And now at last, let's talk about the performance of the device after installing Oxygen OS 12. I don't have any kind of complaints or issues related to performance of my OnePlus 8 running Oxygen OS 12. But if you guys face more issues like your device is lagging a lot while gaming, then make sure to turn on high performance mode. But obviously this will drain more battery of your device. And I also saw a few comments that people were complaining about the poor RAM management on Oxygen OS 12. So guys, that's not the case. RAM management is quite good. If you guys are facing too many issues, make sure to disable optimization of those applications and also make sure to trigger RAM boost feature from the settings page. That should fix the poor RAM management issues what you guys have been complaining. And when it comes to gaming, many users complain that Battlegrounds Mobile India doesn't perform good on Oxygen OS 12. So guys, let me clear one thing, it's not the issue with Oxygen OS 12. Battlegrounds Mobile India is not at all optimized. I have seen nowadays people playing with iPhones do face lot many lags while playing Battlegrounds Mobile India. I personally only play Battlegrounds Mobile India, I have never tried Call of Duty and other stuff. But you guys let me know if you face any kind of issues while playing Battlegrounds Mobile India or Call of Duty. Though by default we don't get any support of 90 FPS, max output what OnePlus will deliver after Oxygen OS 12 is only 60 FPS. And we previously made few videos in which we showed how to enable 90 FPS in Battlegrounds Mobile India. But those things are not working with Oxygen OS 12. In future, if we get any better solution, I'll come up with another video. And if you are playing Battlegrounds Mobile India, always enable FPS from the system status and keep a track on the FPS monitor. If you see much of FPS drop, then enable high performance mode to get better performance of your device while playing heavy games. So overall, a great initial Android 12 build for OnePlus 8 series. If you can ignore the bugs which I have mentioned in this video, with no doubt, you can have a taste of Oxygen OS 12 right away on your OnePlus 8 series or OnePlus 9R. And guys, I hope I have covered almost all the minor issues which you guys have been facing. If I have missed out anything which I did not encountered while using the device, then do let me know in the comments section below so guys this was a complete review of oxygen os 12 for oneplus 8 series and oneplus 9r as of now only this much in this video i hope you guys like the video if you like the video then do give me a thumbs up and also if you are new to our channel then do not forget to subscribe the channel thanks for watching have a great day